All right, guys, so the new Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku banner MS and Bardock banner has just been released to Dokkan Battle, and they actually changed a little bit of it up. So first off, uh, right now, overall stats are 0.9% for the Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku, which is a little bit higher, not like extremely higher, like usually it's about 0.1% higher than what banners typically have. It's usually about 0.8%. Uh, on average for the unit as you see here i mean we also have other units that are really low but i'm assuming these stats just started up um you know just started calculating recently because the banner just came live a couple hours ago well probably about five six seven hours ago but um overall that's what's being said uh past 15 minutes you see super saiyan broly legendary broly the physical one uh, he's at 1.3 percent and so on anyway yeah i keep the url up here if, in case you guys are wondering it's dbzdokenstats.com that's where you get the gotcha information for uh, both the JP and global side of Dokkan Battle, if you're interested in that kind of thing. Anyway, um, so yeah, this is the current banner that's available, and we have Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku as typical as we would expect, and Mass Saiyan Bardock, and the SR is going to be that other Bardock. So this is actually a good banner to get these Bardocks, because these Bardocks are SR variants of the Super Saiyan Bardock. And when you Z-Awaken them, you can Z-Awaken them for a 50% chance to increase the super attack of any of the Super Saiyan Bardocks. There's like four or five, yeah, four of them total. That you could actually increase so i would recommend doing that with these products if you get them but let's talk about the changes real quick so on the jp side there are three units that are on there that are currently not on this banner so the units that were replaced were the super kaioken uh, blue goku the intelligence rage trunks and the intelligence vegeta they were replaced with uh, goku black um, physical broly and super vegeta so, um, I don't know if that makes a difference to any of you guys. If you guys, like I said it before, if you don't have any of the units on the banner, or if you don't have most of them, it might be worth a shot. I already saw a couple people hit me up on YouTube saying, hey, I, you know, my first multi-summon, I got Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku, I got him, this and that. People hitting me up on Facebook too. I'm very happy for you guys. I am. Um, I just want to say my personal thing on this, I will not be doing any summonings on this video, I mean on this video, on this banner. Because, one, this, this uh, Super Saiyan 3 uh, Vegeta, he does not need to be have any dupe has or super attack increase whatsoever. He's a defender, period. He, he will not hit hard at all. He can hit hard. Even if he crits, he's probably only going to crit for like 400,000 damage at most. <laughs> uh, plus, he's only useful on long-winded events. You're going to bring him in with a Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Most of the time, you're not going to even bring him, depending on how you like to play. Super Vegito, as you guys know, on my end, maxed out. Broly has all four dupe heads unlocked already. He's at Super Attack 10, and I have like five dupes of him. I'm hoping for another legendary to drop. <laughs> uh, Goku Black, same situation. I bobbed so many of them because uh, he's farmable, one, and, uh, you know, sent, well, farmable from the event. And I already have all four dupe heads unlocked, and I have him at Super Attack 10. So it's not worth keeping him, even for the LR if I end up having to pull him. I'm just going to go grind out that damn event. And my Go Tanks, my uh, Technique one, is 100% awesome. So the only units that I have here that I, you know, that I don't have here actually is the Mass Saiyan Bardock and the Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku. The Mass Saiyan Bardock, for those of you who aren't aware, is not a Dokkan exclusive. He can be available in any banner. You know, I'm not saying he'll be available in every banner, but for the most part, he's going to be available. Yes, it's going to be a crappier rate, like if you see over here on the right-hand side of the screen, 0.1%, 0.1, 0.1, maybe up to 0.2%. Um, that's what his pull rate's going to be, but he will be featured on other, uh, yeah, on other banners, and he will be available on almost, almost every banner. He's available on a lot of banners in the future. He's not Dokkan exclusive. So, I, I have no real need to pull on this banner. I did pick up some of the stone packs, the ones that were on sale, just because it's going to be useful when the Gogeta comes around. Um, but yeah, uh, if you guys have all these units already, I wouldn't, I mean, the Broly's cool, don't get me wrong, but he gets phased out really easily on the extreme team, and he's really not that viable on future teams because you're going to be using LR Broly if you have him um, in terms of replacing this unit. Uh, the Goku Black, I, I don't know what everyone's appeal is of him. He gets a flat out boost per key orb. Yes, I know he can hit hard if he gets an optimal setup. I just don't like it. He doesn't hit hard in my opinion. I don't think he's a good unit, even when he's fully duped out. He's a free super attack 10, don't get me wrong, but I, I just don't like the card. He's good for support, I guess, if you need the key. But outside of that, I'm not a big fan of uh, obviously, Super Vegito is really good. I like that unit. So, Super Vegito, Gotenks is really good, too. The thing is, with these units that they do these freaking uh, remodels of, the physical one's going to replace them on most teams, except for, like, the Mono Technique Super Team and the Mono the Technique Team in general. That, that those are the only two teams he's going to be relevant on. 
And even at that point, he is not getting his 11 key off most of the time just because of the support units you're going to be running. But we're going to talk about that in a minute um, in terms of team building with Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku. But overall, um, this isn't a horrible banner. If you like the units, pull for it. Don't get me wrong, they're, they are, they're good units in here. Especially if you're just starting out, these are amazing units. But in, in my opinion, I don't think that this banner is worth it. Maybe this is my, my own situation, you know, but that's my situation. Your situation may be a little bit different, but I don't think this banner is worth it. I think you should pass, especially because chances are, now I'm not giving you any guarantees, but chances are the Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku will be available on the Gogeta banner. Uh, so this card should be available on that Intelligence Gogeta banner that should be coming up possibly in end of November, beginning of December. But anyway... Enough rambling about that. Um, banner's live. You can go ahead and pull on it if you want to. Let's go ahead and talk about Linking Buddies. So, first things first. Best Linking Buddies. There are three best Linking Buddies in the game for him. One is the Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta. The, the one that defends everything. And the two Super Saiyan 3 Goku. We're actually going to go ahead and take off that filter. So, obviously, the Gokus are going to uh, uh, link best with him because they are both Goku. Uh, they share five link skills apiece. Um, which is pretty decent. Let's see, it is low. Golden Warrior, Saiyan Warrior Race, over in a Flash of Fierce Battle and Limit Breaking Form. So essentially for this unit, he is really gold. He has a 25% attack buff between Link skills and a T plus 3. Now obviously you're only going to run this um, variation if you guys are on a um, mono hero team and you're lacking some decent units if you're focusing around that mono hero team around the Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku. Not a bad setup, you know, not really bad at all. Uh, the other Goku and Vegeta, I believe, share the same exact link skill set. Uh, yeah, exactly. He, so that's attack plus 15%, plus attack plus 2,000 flat out boost for limit breaking form. Again, I don't really like that because that's just flat up, like, do that much. And the same thing with this Vegeta. So overall, you're getting a really decent good link skills uh, with these guys. Uh, I could possibly see the Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku, the Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta on a super team because he is a really good defender. Even this Goku is pretty decent just because his attack buff, but I, I, I can definitely see you running this Vegeta just because he's a, a tank on that team. He can be viable in the future. Um, he was also viable. I based it off of the, the boss rush. I typically base the viability off of Dokkan offense if they're going to be good there, or the boss rush. And this Vegeta was definitely viable and a staple in the Heroes team in boss rush. Uh, just for defense. Now, in terms of best linking buddies on a tech team, on a tech hero team, he has the Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, and he shares all the attack buffs anyway. Uh, not all of them, but he shares, oh yeah, he actually all of them. Super Saiyan, Fierce Battle, and Limit Breaking Form, and that's what you want. And he gets over in a flash as a key plus 3, so that's super freaking useful. Super, super useful right there. I would recommend doing that. These guys will link well together. They hit off each other's super attack. Plus, that means with the Gotenks, assuming you you don't have any other support on the end, that's, like, that, like, that's on rotation, that's going to give you a key. At that point, you can still get uh, Gotenks to hit his 11 key multiplier. And then you also have the Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta if you don't have this Gotenks, just to hit him off. Um, it's the same thing. He gets all of his attack buffs, but he only gets a key plus one instead of... He doesn't have over on a flash, which I still don't understand why. But that Vegeta does not have over on a flash. He is a good linking unit, though. He gets those attack buffs off. And then at that point, you can run those key support units. Uh, that way, you know, they're, they're definitely going to be getting those super attacks off. Now, I did have this list, like I typically do of all the units on here that are viable. Now, okay, I don't want to say all, all. These are ones that I think are decent units that you can run on this team without a problem. Ones that are available on the global side. So that means that, that adult Gotenks, the Super Saiyan Gotenks, and the one with Gokens into Super Saiyan 3, that was from the, um, uh, not the few, the Heroes banner. And he's not available on the global side, so he's not in this list. So we're just going to go ahead and talk about it. Uh, obviously, if you have Super Gogeta, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, he's going to be a staple on this team. He's going to be really, really viable on the team. He's going to be hitting pretty damn hard. And he shares some decent link skills. He shares 25% uh, attack buff and over in a flash. So he's really good to run with that Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku. If you have them both, they are just, that's perfect. And if you have the Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, and then you're set. That's all there is to it. I think that this setup right here for these four main powerhouses, your main rotation, um, that's what it's going to be. I say four because that means you're, you're, you're going to have two Angel Gokus, yours and our friend. And they're going to be staples for you guys. Um, so I would recommend doing that. And those are going to be your primary units. After that, I could see the LR Goku. Because remember guys, if you guys took advantage of the 100% that we were able to do for him, um, he's going to be staple. The problem with that is his best, best linking buddy, and you're probably going to want to run this with him, is this Bardock. He seals, which definitely makes it a lot easier. This means you're going to have a Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku on rotation. And again, this isn't going to be the most optimal setup, guys. But it is a good setup. You 
and he changes key orbs, so this Bardock is going to literally set up this Goku to be getting his Mega Colossal Super Attack buff all the time. He's not a bad unit. He's not. And especially if you have him 100%. It's just that these units are definitely better, and I wouldn't really want to make that trade-off unless I didn't have a choice for the with having Bardock added onto the team and having the Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku on rotation. But that's just my opinion on it. Uh, this would be a really good setup. These guys are really good linking buddies. Um, and then everything else after that, um, this Vegeta is still good just because he does, like I said, he links well with the Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku. That's why he's there. I wouldn't recommend him as a primary unit. He does hit decently. I think his attack is plus 70%. Uh, just period. I think he's, I'm pretty sure it's a flat out. Oh, that's for my next video. <laughs> um, so we're going to go ahead. I'm actually going to go ahead and look that up really quick um, for that Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta. But underneath that, we have the Karoli. Karoli is a decent unit as well. Uh, both of them are going to be decent hitting units, especially the, the Trunks too. Trunks is attack and defense. Uh, this Vegeta, the World Tournament Vegeta, people give him some shit, but he is not bad. His attack is plus 100%. He doesn't have the most amazing stats or link skills. Um, he only gets two link skills of the Super Saiyan 3 Angel, the three link skills of the Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku, but he does give himself attack plus 100% when HP is 30% or above. And then just for you Beerus fans, because I know there's some Beerus fans out there, he can be run on this team if you want. You have the uh, SSR variant of Beerus, the one that Doken Awakens from the SR if you want to, Super Attack 10. It's an easy Super Attack 10. Um, and then you have the Doken exclusive. I'm not a big fan of him, but you can run him if you want. But this would be the lineup, and actually pretty much in this order of how I would run. Um, or who I would choose anyway. So, obviously Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, Gotenks, and then LR Goku and Bardock, and then Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta. Whatever one of these, whichever ones you don't have, replace. Also, the Karoli is only available on the Fusions banner, so if you don't have him, he's not going to be uh, pullable until that Fusions banner comes back around. We have no idea when it's coming, guys, so I have I couldn't I couldn't tell you. Um, the, so now the right hand side is going to be my support units as usual. Uh, Vegito is going to be your primary support unit. He gives attack plus thirty percent for all allies, so he is super viable. I would definitely recommend running him if you have him as primary unit. The next one is going to be the Surpassing Limits Super Saiyan Two Goku. That's this guy right here. You can run him with. The super with the Super Saiyan LR Goku if you have him. Those two run together. The next two Gokus do not run with that LR Goku, so you need to make the decision. But this Goku, the Super Saiyan 2 one, gives key plus 2 and attack plus 20% for all allies when HP is 50% or above. Um, the next two, well, these guys are actually the same exact unit. Uh, the, this is the World Tournament reward right here, the SSR and the Doken Awakened. So the Undoken version is attack plus 15% for all allies, but HP is 50% or above. When he Dokens into the TR, that's what you see on the right-hand side, all allies attack and defense plus 25% when HP is 30% or above, so he's better when he gets Doken Awakened. He's a really good support unit. This Trunks is not a good support unit at this time. He will be in the future. He, when he Doken Awakens, it's tech-type key plus 2, attack and defense plus 25% flat-out boost. As you know, this is the Tien. Tien is... Well, actually, I should throw him up here on... Uh, <laughs> I didn't do the support units in order. Uh, Tien is attack, uh, key plus 3, attack, and defense plus 40% for super tech types. Key plus 3 just for tech types, and then attack and defense plus 40% for super tech types. Um, so these two are going to be your stable support unit. Um, and then uh, at, uh, after that, you know, once this guy gets a Doken Wake, it'll be good. And just, I, I just wanted to throw him on here. I didn't really, don't think he's a primary unit to run. But the, the actual Jackie Chan, he seals, and he gives tech types plus, attack plus 25% doesn't link with anyone but like i said he's gonna have key plus six when he gets off the super attack he will seal and he does give the boost and that's really what support units are meant for they're meant for supporting the team not really for attacking so the off chance that you do get him to get a super attack off especially if you have that bardock every third round he'll be opposite of that bardock so that way he'll that way your enemies will never be supering and outside of that whatever you know he'll still get it off and then he'll seal their super attacks but anyway guys that's what i'm saying right here uh, as you guys know, this is what I think is a good team. If you guys have all these top units that I'm talking about over here, you're in a pretty damn good position. If not, I mean, he's still a really good unit, and he's going to be a staple in future teams as well. He's going to be a staple in a revival team, so he can he'll, he'll run really well there. The only thing that stinks is because uh, Frieza like reduces his allies attack or whatever it was. I, I don't have that off the top of my head. I don't remember. I don't run it because I'm not major JP. I didn't take the time to memorize it. But uh, overall, this is a really good freaking. And if you guys pull him, good for you. I'm very happy. But anyway, guys, let me know if you're pulling for him down in the comments below. Um, I will be releasing the video for the actual... I had it over here, the one that I pulled up. Essentially, I'm just going... I'll be going over it in the future. How to get the Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku, the free-to-play one, to increase the super attack of yours for free. Uh, 
of the actual Angel Goku, the Dopen exclusive. So I'll be going over that in a different video. Stay tuned for that. I'm probably going to release that either later on tonight or tomorrow. But anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. Make sure to subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you all later.